What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb freaking dig bomb freaking where at 11,425 subscribers right now. So, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I appreciate it so much. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. This is uh, a reading for the sign of Scorpio. This could resonate if you have sports in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Heaven, or Jupiter charts. Uh, it's a free general reading for the sign of Scorpio, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. There's millions and billions of people in the world, tons of Scorpios. So it is very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay, so I received a channel for the sign of Scorpio. So I'm going to share it. Uh, actually, a couple of them. So we're going to do it. Um, the channel I received was, there's about to be a very significant leak soon. Um, some, it is an air leak. Some, it is a leak of information. So, um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Scorps. I feel this could go positively for the leak of information or negatively, depending on which side of the leak of information you're on. But um, for some, I feel you could be the leaker of information. For some, it could be leaks of information you don't want out. But um, you, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates for you. But for some, it's an air leak. For some, it is a leak of information. So air leak, I feel, could go several different ways. Um, something that has air in it. Um, it could be a basketball, a ball, a tire, a... Um, uh, water bed, well, yeah, water bed. Something that has air in it, just saying, well, that has water, but, and air, but you plug it in how it resonates. Something that has air in it, I'll tell you that, okay? Some kind of leak of air in some shape, form, or fashion. Significant leak. So, uh, for some, and for some, it's a leak of information, but like I said, I feel you could be on the positive spectrum of that or negative spectrum. Um, you could be the leaker of information or you could be the person that's trying to hold the secret information secret and it gets leaked. Um, I feel it could go both ways. But you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Scorps. <clears throat> Spirit messages you have besides Scorpio. For some of you guys, I feel whistleblower energy here, whether you're the whistleblower yourself or somebody is whistleblowing on you. And I'm serious about that. I do. I feel I didn't hear whistleblower in here, but I feel whistleblower energy. But you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. I heard one more. Spirit messages you have for sign of the Scorpio. Nine of Swords upright, Eight of Swords reverse, Seven of Cups reverse. <clears throat> A particular Aries is about to start getting very, very, very freaked out. Know this. For one, Scorpio, you're about to realize this very soon and very quickly. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Aries energy is strong in here. So um, if this resonates for you, Scorpio, some kind of Aries energy. It can be masculine or femme Aries. Uh, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug this Aries in your life, however they resonate. They can have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. But um, I heard Aries is about to start getting freaked out very soon and very quickly. And at least for one of you guys, you're about to start picking up on this. So I don't know if they're going to be blowing up your phone or if you live with them or or something or you're around them and you see the nonverbal or it's call after call after call after call or something of that nature but um you're about to pick up on it soon and quickly that they're about to start getting freaked out i know why they're about to start getting freaked out i'm not sure it might be because of some kind of leak of information in some shape form or fashion um or maybe you leak the information on them i'm not sure you are the manifester of your own destiny. So the actions you take in your life, in your universe, 
that's, I mean, only you know that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Knight of Swords upright, Eight of Swords reversed, Seven of Cups reversed. A particular Scorpio has just got out of jail. They are not playing around this time. They are about to release everything they know. They are tired of this shit. Whoa. You plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. Okay, so for one of you guys, you just got out of jail. Um, whoever you are, masculine or femme Scorpio, you just got out of jail. I heard you're not playing around this time. You are not playing around and you are about to release everything you know. So some kind of important information in some shape, form, or fashion, you're about to release it. It's some kind of important information, it sounds like. Um, so I don't know who you're about to release it to. Um, I don't know if you're about to call investigators or important prominent people in the community or who you need to contact. Only I would presume only you know this, not anybody else, but you're not playing around. You're about to release it. For some of you guys, I feel maybe you were, um, you got put in jail, but you were afraid to release the information kind of like, um, snitches get stitches energy. But now you realize since you were, you, it sounds like you got thrown through the wolves and got put in jail. Now it's smart to release the information. I don't believe in snitches get stitches. I will be a whistleblower any freaking time of the day, period. I will. Now, everybody's different, but I'm just saying, uh, I don't believe that snitches get stitches shit. I don't. We're in 2022. It's too dangerous of a damn world, and I'm serious about that. Um, too many people get away with too many damn crimes. I mean, you come after me, you come after me. Okay, but at least I know that I did the right thing. But, you know, I'm not you guys. I'm not you. That's just my take on this. But whoever, I say that because whoever this is, I feel you might start taking on that perspective too. Because it sounds like one of you guys just got thrown to the freaking wolves, got put in jail, but you were holding in some very important information to protect person or people or place or situation or something of that nature, but it sounds like you're about to release it. Um, and I don't blame you. So, Knight of Swords um, upright. I think this is you about to release this information. You're about to take on air sign energy, truth, clarity, uh, I feel whistleblower as type energy here. Eight of Swords reverse. You're not going to have any mental health vibes once you do it. Seven of Cups reverse. No confusion. You're about to have clarity. You're about to do it. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, that's for the particular Scorpio that just got out of jail. Recently got out of jail. Whoever you are, masculine or femme Scorpio. Some Scorpios, this is on a very prominent drug trafficking ring in their city. For some, it's on child abuse. Regarding hidden cameras. And secret dark web activity. For some, it's on stolen benefits of the past. Short-term disability, long-term disability of someone else's benefits. Oh my God, this is heavy shit. Whoa, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it's on um, some kind of drug trafficking ring in your in your city. I heard city, not um, town. You know, it's a, it sounds like urbanized city. So for some of you guys, I feel it's at least three Scorpios in the universe. You plug it in your own life how it resonates. So for some, it's on a drug trafficking ring in your city. It sounds like you were the fall person for this. Um, for some... It is on some kind of child abuse regarding hidden cameras and dark web energy. So somebody's been placing hidden cameras in people's homes and illegally voyeuring children and putting it on the dark web is what it sounds like, which is just nasty. That's like pedophile brain energy is what it feels like to me. Um, and it sounds like maybe you were the fall guy for this or you just kept the information in. However, that resonates for some, at least one of you guys. And for one, it was, um, what was the other one? 
Oh, somebody that stole someone's short-term disability benefits and long-term disability benefits. Yeah, so you know some information on this, but you've been keeping it in. So, but you're about to release it. Um, there's three different categories here. I feel at least three different Scorpios that are about to get out of jail and you're about to do this. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. And you have a very scared Aries energy, apparently. Um, whoever this Aries is to you, it could be a lover, it could be a committed partner, it could be a married spouse, it could be a co-worker, former co-worker, a person of your past, a neighbor, a friend, a frenemy, whoever. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aries. I'm not Aries, sorry, um, Scorpio. one more spirit messages you have sign up Scorpio there is about to be a very 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 angry Libra low vibrational Libra in a Scorpio's energy field very soon it would not be smart to engage with this person Okay, I heard there's about to be a very angry, low vibrational Libra energy in your vicinity, in your energy field very soon. Scorpio, I heard it would not be smart to engage with this person. So only you know who this low vibrational Libra is. Um, so you plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Heard low vibrational. So they don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, integrity, morals, values, etc. Um, and like, vibrations is not about money. It's about how you treat people. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. It could be masculine or female Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But um, I heard it, a spiritual download, it would not be smart to engage with them. Of course, you have free will and you can, but it wouldn't be smart. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Two of swords reverse, strength reverse, five of pentacles upright. A particular Scorpio has really heavily contemplated reaching out and report, officially reporting fraud. They have lost a lot of money holding this information in. They, they probably will do it soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so whoever you are, your Scorpionic energy, and I heard um, you have, um, apparently you've lost some kind of money in some shape, form, or fashion not reporting this fraud. Um, now, how, why ever you lost money? I don't know if you lost a job because of it, or your business has tanked down because of it, or maybe you will get a reward if you report the fraud. I'm not sure, but however it resonates, you have not reported the fraud. It's kind of like Stitches gets... Uh, snitches get stitches energy here uh, i'm serious but i heard you're probably going to do it soon you're probably going to do it soon uh you haven't made a decision on it yet to a swords reverse you haven't made a decision on it yet you've been very weak about this you know about this fraud but you haven't reported it you've been left out in the cold financially because of it so i feel for some you might have lost a job your business might have taken down or um you know you'll get a reward if you report the fraud how that resonates but right now it seems like you have uh your five of pentacles upright so that's left out in the cold financially that's not a good financial card i'm just saying so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you for some you could be dealing with leo because it's leo energy maybe the leo was frauded or maybe um you have leo in your chart but whether you have leo in your chart or you're dealing with a leo um they could have leo in their sun moon rising venus north moon and jupiter charts you plug it in how it resonates scorpio
All right, let's pull some tea leaves and then I'll close it. All the other readings have been um, pretty long. Let me pull a kipper actually. Spirit messages you have a sign of Scorpio. Great fortune upright, thief reverse. A particular Scorpio is, has already started a wonderful business idea and it's bringing in a lot of money. Another one is about to start, start a wonderful business idea and it's about to bring in a lot of money. And a particular Scorpio is about to get an inheritance. A very, 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 very large inheritance soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. You got uh, number 26 or 24 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 26 or 24. It could be possible ages of, of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible social security card number. Possible jersey number. 26 or 24. So whoever this resonates with, some of you guys, um, you're, you've already started a wonderful business idea. And it uh, sounds like it's reaping financial rewards. Um, you're pulling great fortune. So I feel it's going, it's either already reaped you great fortune or it's going on the way to reap you great fortune and you're not a thief because it's your own original business idea it sounds like and you're on the way either already reaped great fortune or you are on the way for others of you guys you're about to it sounds like you're about to start this wonderful business idea it sounds like it's original it doesn't sound like you've stolen anybody's ideas or um anything of that nature and i heard it's going to reap great fortune so it might for some it might take you a little bit to get there for some it might do it all at once i'm not sure but you're pulling great fortune upright and you're not stealing anybody's ideas it sounds like your own original ideas and for group three over here um i heard you uh you're about to come into a basically a great fortune through some kind of inheritance energy um so it's not it's your inheritance it, it's not a stolen inheritance you didn't steal it from anybody it's through the proper procedures nobody altered documentation it's your great fortune um your inheritance and so you didn't steal it from anybody so you plug it in however that resonates that's really beautiful energy scorpio it really really is let me see if i hear anything else with that A particular large amount of money that was hidden in a garden is about to be exhumed soon. One Scorpio needs to know this. Oh my Lord. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. So a particular large amount of money that, um, that is hidden in a garden, I heard, is about to be exhumed soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. I, um, I feel either you are the one exhuming this very large amount of money or maybe authorities are going to get involved um, and they're about to exhume the large amount of money. Somebody exhumed, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically dig up. So somebody's about to dig up a very, very large amount of money in a garden. Um, I don't, I feel authority energy here and I didn't hear that, but I feel authority energy. So maybe for some, you could be the authorities about to exhume this very large amount of money hidden in a garden. Um, or for some, you could be the one where somebody's about to get a search warrant and it's your home that they're about to exhume this very large amount of money in your garden. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. Or maybe for one of you guys, you know the information on somebody and that you know where this very large amount of money is in this garden and you're about to reveal it to authorities and that starts the process for the exhuming of this large amount of money in somebody's garden. However, this resonates for you. Um, great fortune in a garden. Um, it's about not to be stolen because it's about to be exhumed. I feel by the authorities. 
Um, I feel, but I didn't hear 40s, but I feel it's going to be by the authorities. But you plug it in however that resonates. Spirit messages you have for the sign Scorpio. Way, way, way too many. Way too many. Way too many. Uh, for some, you could be an emotional about a situation, or for some, somebody could be an emotional about you, possibly. Or for some, you could be de dealing with someone with addictions, because that's like excess. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for Sign Scorpio. I'll pull you up while I get these together. I feel you guys might be an emotional about a situation or somebody you're connected to. Um, definitely this Aries energy for sure that I was pulling in earlier. Um, so this might be the energy of that Aries. Because um, you were pulling that Aries in. I heard they're scared. They are scared about something. So they might be the ones that have the large amount of money in their garden. Or maybe it's your garden and they help, you know, they convinced you to put it there. I mean, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Spirit messages you have for Scorpio. But somewhere around the universe, there's a hell of a lot, a large amount of money hidden in a garden. And apparently it's about to be exhumed soon. I'll tell you that. Spirit messages you have for Scorpio. Or it could be that angry Libra that's about to come in your energy field. Um, maybe you're emotional about that or they're emotional about something. I'm not sure. Okay, three. Clouds, temporary problems, angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, harp, great happiness. Clouds, temporary problems. Problems at a daycare is about to become very, very, very significant for one particular Scorpio. Okay. Her problems at a daycare is about to become very, very significant for one particular Scorpio. So that could be the, the temporary problems. You plug it in how it resonates. For one Scorpio, there's about to be a huge water leak. A plumber will be needed. Okay. And I heard one particular Scorpio, there's about to be a huge water leak and a plumber will plumber will be needed. So some kind of problems that is daycare for one of you guys. It could be your child or somebody you're connected to's child. Maybe for some you work at the daycare and there's um, issues with a child in um, that... Uh, where you were employed at. Um, I feel it could go both ways. And for some, maybe you are the pickup contact for this child or you are the parent of this child. But however that resonates, some kind of 
problems with the child at a daycare, whether you are the employee or you are the parent or pickup contact. And then the water leak. The water leak, I heard a plumber is going to be needed. And it sounds like a very large water leak. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. A particular Scorpio is about to realize spirituality is definitely the way to go for them. They have really struggled with religion. They are about to completely go turn over to spirituality. It is about to benefit them in a huge way. Well, this is a great one. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for at least one of you guys, um, now, of course, you know, I don't judge. If you're religious, I don't judge that. I'm strictly spiritual, but I am for reasons. So, um, but I don't judge if you're religious. I, I don't, I don't. But whoever this is for, apparently you have tried religion in the past. For some, it could have been peer pressure. For some, it could have been societal pressure. For some, it just could have been you just trying things out. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. But apparently you've had problems with whatever religions you have participated in, um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so I heard you are about to basically turn a, a leaf and go to strictly spiritual, whoever you are, um, if this resonates for you. I heard it's going to benefit you greatly. So um, somebody's about to turn over to the spiritual leaf side. Um, they're about to nix religion and just go spiritual. Um, I have done that before. Um, I have known others that have done that before. But to me, that is a personal choice on however you want to do your life. You know what I'm saying? So um, whoever this is for, I think this is beautiful. Um, to me, it takes a lot of strength and courage to do that because in societal norms, most people expect you to be in a religion. Um, so this is like going against the brain energy. But let me tell you, I've done it years ago and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It really, really was. But I can only speak on myself. So I hope it turns out very well for you as well. Whoever you are, masculine or femme Scorpio. Heart, great happiness. A birthday is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. A birthday gift. Okay, I heard a birthday gift is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. I think we're in Pisces season right now. I'm pretty sure we are. So I feel for some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Um, some kind of birthday gift energy. Now, whoever this person is in your life, um, let me see. I think we're in Pisces season, March 13th. Some kind of birthday gift energy. So it's not your birthday. It's somebody else's. Pisces. Yep. Um, so I feel you might be getting a uh, birthday gift for a Pisces. Whoever this person is, it could be um, a spouse, it could be a family member, it could be a part committed partner, it could be a child, it could be a neighbor, it could be a coworker, it could be somebody your past. But some kind of Piscean energy, um, it sounds like you are about to purchase a birthday gift for them, um, if this resonates for you. Heard a birthday gift is about to be very significant. And I think it's about to bring you great happiness to purchase this birthday gift for this um, Piscean, um, because... I feel it's a Piscean. Um, I do. I feel it's a Piscean. Let me see. Hold on. I mean, to, if we are in Pisces season now, yes. But let me see when Pisces season ends. I heard it's about to become significant. Okay, so Pisces season ends March 20th, it looks like. Hold on. March 20th. March 20th ends Pisces season. We're in March 13th. So for some, it could be a Pisces. For some, it could be a... What is after Pisces?
Sorry, y'all. Good lord. Oh my god. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um. Aries? Looks like Aries. So it could be for a Pisces or Aries. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates. But some kind of significant birthday gift coming up soon. You plug it in your own life how it resonates. I heard it's going to make you very happy to give this birthday gift. Like I said, it really could be to anybody in your life. It's obviously not you because you're a Scorpio. So you plug it in how it resonates. But I feel it's going to give you great happiness to give this birthday gift. And a Scorpio is about to receive a gift certificate. It's about to make them very happy. And a Scorpio is about to receive a gift certificate. It's about to make them very happy. So you are about to receive a gift certificate. It's about to make you very happy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. I just heard hair. 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 So maybe for some, you're about to get a gift certificate for maybe um, at a, a hair salon or um, something of that nature, or you're about to receive a gift certificate to um, for a wig or something of that nature. Um, however, that resonates, but I heard hair. So gift certificate, I think for hair or hair services or salon services or something of that nature. Okay, I didn't. All right. A fentanyl bust is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Fentanyl and meth. And cocaine. A Leo is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. Well, okay. We got drug bust energy in here at 3238. So a fentanyl, a meth, and a cocaine bust is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. So I, ooh, fentanyl, meth, and coke. Very strong substances. Um, very strong. Um, uh, fentanyl, that's prescribed, but, um, that's very strong. The other two are street side, um, drugs for anybody who doesn't know that. Um, holy freaking A, man. I heard it's about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. So I feel you could be the one about to drug bust these people. Uh, maybe you're on the team to drug bust these people, or you're going to give information to drug bust these people, or you were the one about to get drug busted. However that resonates. I feel it can go any of those ways. You plug it in how it resonates, but I heard fentanyl, meth, and um, coke, cocaine. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. And I heard a Leo is about to become very significant in a um, Scorp's life. So, like I said, I feel you could be the one about to drug bust these people or give information to drug bust these people or you were the one about to get drug busted. But somehow a Leo energy is about to become significant in your life. So, um, some kind of Leo energy. They can have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. However that resonates in your life, Scorpio. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.